Hey everybody, I'm Grumpus. Thanks for tuning in to Grumpus on Fire. Well today we're going to do a Jamaican inspired pork butt. We're going to do that on a rotisserie over the Lone Star Grills firebox. So stick around. Well the first thing we're going to work on today is our injection. I got three cloves of garlic. What is this? A Walker's World Spicy Jamaican Jerk Marinade. Yeah, a third of this bottle in here. Organic pineapple ginger. Or red stripe. Good Jamaican lager. Just got a little bit of heat. Set that off to the side. So I've got 11 pound pork butt. Bone in. So our first thing we're going to need to do is get that bone out. Get down in there. Pull some of it away. There we go. Alright, we're boneless. I'm going to score this a little bit. I don't usually do this, but I think this will look nice on the rotisserie. I like to start with a big slip knot. Come down here about a, uh, an inch or two from the end. Pull that up pretty tight. Yeah, we can, we can fold those edges. Fold those sides up. we put our tines in here and mush that up a little bit I think it's gonna make a nice little loaf it is time for the fun stuff don't tell the wife I'm gonna use one of her reds glasses Here we go. Put that whole glass in there. We're going to take this big old bowl and I've got a oven bag that we're going to slip this meat into and then we'll put it in that bowl so it can sit in the refrigerator overnight. Here we go, it fit. We're going to take about four cloves of garlic. Here we go. And this is going in the marinade, so it doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be sliced. I'm even going to throw the seed in there. How's that? I got some ginger. Don't need to peel it. Just slice it up, get it in there. I've got some thyme. The rest of our jerk marinade. Dump it in there. The last half of that beer, dump it in there. We'll put some more pineapple ginger in here. I gotta give that a little taste. Yep. Take our marinade that we've got and put it all in this bag. The reason I want to put it in the bag is so I can pull a bunch of air out of it, keep this stuff tied up against the meat, and then we can turn it every few hours to make sure every, everything is getting touched. The nice thing about those oven bags, they are tough. Got us a good tight knot. Now let's 
And I'm still holding that knot. I'm pinching it shut because I don't, I don't trust it. But we got all that goodness floating around in there. Kind of moving, massage it a little bit. And we're gonna let that sit in the refrigerator overnight. I got a nice jerk seasoning we're gonna put on this. So there we go. Well, it's eight o'clock the next morning. I have rotated this bag around like three times. So we should be marinated really, really good. And I'm just gonna clip this off and dump this marinade down the garbage disposal. All right, we're just gonna pat this dry, get some of these pieces off of it just so it doesn't fall in the fire. Tell you what, everything looks pretty gray, so I'm assuming we got a good penetration here. And don't forget, we injected quite a bit of stuff in this. See if we can get it on the spit now. There we went. Jab that down on our points. I mean jab it. There we go. Jab that on there like that. You want pretty tight, but that meat's gonna shrink up. And I don't want it flopping around, and I want to try to help hold its shape. There we go, got those snug down. I'm spinning it around it. I think the motor can handle that. That's not too far off balance. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna coat this up. This is Grace, uh, what's it say? Jamaican dried jerk seasoning. Give this a good heavy coat. Get these ends real good. So we're just gonna let this Sweat down a little bit, let everybody get happy, go out and get my fire going. So I guess the next time I see you, we'll be at the pit. I put a little tin foil here on the end of the pit, so uh, keep some of the splatter off the paint. And there's a little bit of air gap behind that, so maybe that heat coming up won't blister the paint. Uh, not a whole lot you can do about the box because it gets so hot, but I, I can keep the paint nice on the rest of it. And same way over here, I put a little tin foil up here to kind of act as a heat shield on that motor. And uh, take a peek, one more peek down in there, you can see as we put that spit in there on a diagonal, as the day goes along, I kind of rake those coals to match the diagonal of the spit. And uh, Got a good bed of coals going. I'll add some charcoal as we need it. I got some uh, briquettes that I can add. If I need it to be hotter, I've got some lump. And I'll be adding some little pieces of wood as the day goes along to keep the smoke going. Let's go get the meat. All right, let's get this thing set up. There we go. Get that slid in the motor. Get our retaining retainer on here. Put just a couple washers on here for bushings. I'm gonna push this into the motor as far as it'll go. Slide this up tight. I'm gonna pull it out of the motor about an eighth of an inch. That'll give it just a little bit of play without getting it a mine. Nothing to do now but fire this baby up. Nothing's falling off. I'm gonna hold my hand under the meat. See how much heat's hitting it. You probably need that. Uh, see, that's I can still hold my hand there quite a bit. So we'll give this just a few minutes and I may add some uh, some charcoal to that or maybe another log just here at the, at the beginning. 
We are an hour and five minutes in. Nothing's burning up yet. I can hold my hand under here. Maybe six, ten seconds. This feels pretty even all the way, all the way across. Nothing burning up yet, so we'll uh, we'll let this keep going. I'll check in with you in another hour. Now I did choke off one stack because we were bleeding off way too much heat. So that's forcing the air to come in from the vent in the door straight up onto the meat. So that's kind of how I'm regulating the heat. If it gets too hot, I'll open that other one up and it will suck some of that heat through the pit before it comes out the top of the firebox. Just FYI, I have moved the coals and the fire around as necessary because this end closest to us is a little fatter than the other end. So we pulled the coals from that side, raked them over here, had a little bit more fire on this end, been managing it that way and it has worked very well. We're gonna glaze this with some Grace Jamaican style barbecue sauce. Right off the shelf. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and let this go for about another 15 minutes. Let this sauce tack up. And we're going to pull it and let it rest. Well, five hours and 23 minutes later, we're ready to take this off. Well, it almost didn't fit that pan. Let me go ahead and take this stuff off while it's hot. Do a little fall on that. We're going to let it rest for about a half an hour. And let's see if we can get the spit off. There we go. Go ahead and loosely wrap this. Let this rest about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make some salsa.
Well, we've rested for 45 minutes. Let's check this out. Let's see how we did today. I'll tell you what, that sure is pretty. I guess the first thing I want to do is just cut into it, see how it come out. Try my best to keep cutting my pan up. And I'm thinking it probably would have been good if I just took them strings off first. But just pull some out. Now this is supposed to have some firmness to it. This is we're going to chop these. This is not supposed to be pulled pork. It smells great. I had to try a piece of this before we make our taco. Try that out. Oh yeah. Yep, sir. That is way different than anything I've done. And that is good. Chop this up against the grain. Or the nearest we can tell. I'm basically going to make these like a street taco. We got us a fresh tortilla. We're going to put some of our pork on it. We don't have to be stingy. Load her up. We've got our mango pineapple salsa. Put a little bit of that on there. I put cilantro and red peppers on the side because the wife don't care for the cilantro or the red peppers. And I'm thinking I want just a little bit more barbecue sauce on mine. Here we go. How does that look? Let's go ahead and try this thing out. <laughs> wow, I can tell you that's unlike anything I've ever had. It's delicious. You know, once you can unwrap your brain from not having smoked pork, this is really, really off the charts. This is the first time I've tried anything like this. It won't be my last. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, give this a try. And I'd like to take a minute to give a shout out to my good buddy Steven. His channel is Cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline. Him and his daughter are down in Trinidad. In fact, watching Stephen's cook has kind of inspired me to try this. So we need to wrap this up. Family's inside waiting for supper. If you like what we've done today, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? I'd sure appreciate it if you want to do that. I appreciate you tuning in to Grumpus on Fire. So until next time, I'm Grumpus.